what's up everyone and welcome to your 13th JavaScript tutorial and we'll be looking more on prototypes and what we have learned in the previous tutorial to start with let's create a constructor function with name let's say area of square I'll choose more friendly names now instead of just going like a b and c like that and let's create a variable let's give it two parameters x and y this dot side oh actually I don't need another side because square area of square is side square don't know how I forgot that anyways this dot side is x and let's create this dot area as a method and it would return simply this dot side star this dot side and let's create another function with constructor class kind of <coughs> excuse me area of rectangle uh, let's give it two sides now x y and this dot side one would be x this dot side two would be y and we'll just return this area as function with return as this dot side one star this dot side two now what happens is when I create variable square is equal to new area of square and with side 10 now what happens here is the JavaScript creates a empty object now this object right here is empty object of this constructor function what happens is JavaScript by default creates another method called prototype which is invisible to us that means JavaScript doesn't show it to users but JavaScript creates this method to this object to link all the methods and properties of its constructor class that means actually if we look here if I do like function dot prototype now you see that it returns as a function empty now what happens here is JavaScript do when we create this object var square is equal to new area of square then JavaScript creates this as an empty object that means this object is kind of like this it doesn't have anything but JavaScript attach a new method known as prototype remember you cannot access this method directly but you have certain commands like proto in inbuilt command unofficial to use this but anyways JavaScript assigns this prototype method to this object this empty object to link it to the chain now what is the chain here let me clear this no and what the heck and let's okay so what's the chain right here when you create a new object new what we have here I would ju just write area of square for the sake of my handwriting okay now when we create this object then JavaScript creates an empty object empty this object is right now empty emp oh what empty an object with the method with the method what the heck man with the method prototype Oh 
that looks much better, isn't it? Okay, so this object has this method propo prototype. <laughs> prototype. <laughs> what? Never mind. Okay, so this method is actually responsible for linking this object to this constructor functions, all the properties and methods right here. So, first of all, when we call this console log square dot area now what happens is when we call this um, when we call this function right here square dot area what happens is javascript says to this object do you have any method area square says no I don't have any method so what JavaScript do is square object this is the object and since this is an empty object but only has an automatically created property prototype or kind of method then JavaScript says do you have any method area to this object this object says no I don't have any method area then JavaScript in the prototype chain goes above to the constructor function which is this one the area of square the area of square function this function the JavaScript asks this function do you have any area of the area method this functions look upon its methods and says yes I do have and then it returns uh, the function or the method to this prototype chain and it returns to the square object and then it console logs this thing but what if uh, this method was not even in here uh, let's do to string method now we don't have this method in the square we don't have this method in the area of square so what now we don't have this method and it should show an error but it doesn't because when the prototype chain is right here when the JavaScript is asking this function this function says no I don't have this two string method and the JavaScript this function as well has a prototype attached to it and which helps this JavaScript engine to navigate up and up to the prototype chain unless a null is returned now this function here says I don't have any method like to string so JavaScript moves up to this function and finds the object object now what object says yes I do have a function now why do object has a function because object there's nothing object is the top is at top everything like functions like arrays your arrays your objects themselves the object literals or the new object keyword derives all its properties from this object the object says yes I do have this prototype uh, what do you say the two string method and then object returns this two string method to function function to prototype prototype to square and square console logs this pretty simple isn't it if you learn it with concentration so what's happening here is kind of a chain a chain type of reaction going on that square as prototype prototype to function function its own prototype its own prototype to object and then the reverse thing is going on if we call a unknown function like ABC now what would happen is it would keep looking in the chain unless a null or undefined is thrown back by the object object function now this object function when the JavaScript asks this function do you have any method named ABC then this objects function says no I don't have any method now JavaScript don't have anything above to go then therefore JavaScript 
throws an error which says uncaught type error undefined is not a function so this is how a prototype chain works and uh, this was something brief on prototype we'll discuss more on this in the future tutorials till then don't forget to subscribe on my youtube videos and stay tuned for more thank you for watching